Hey guys, welcome back to the Rat Nest Podcast, episode two. It's your your three hosts, me, Jeff, the uh, the wondrous, Jerry, the magnificent, and uh, Ian, the accursed. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. right. I actually I wanted to uh, jump right in, and I consider this question to be a staple on all on all podcasts I've ever listened to. Classic okay. question: How many third graders do you think you could take in a fight? <laughs> it's a classic it gets asked every podcast I want to hear you guys' thoughts how many Ian do you want right. to yeah, yeah I'll go I'll go well I personally think uh, well it depends who the third graders are right like if if it were a ton of me in third grade I'd probably zero you know I don't <laughs> think I could take me on in third grade <laughs> But, like, <laughs> let's say it was a ton of Jeffs. I mean, I don't know what right. my limit would be. I think, I mean, it would just be just fun as at that point. Throw at me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, con- uh, for your consideration, we're assuming it's an open field, and it's all at once. There aren't, like, waves. They're not one at a time. It's not like a yeah, Jeffs yeah. fight. It's just how many at once <laughs> could you take on? Yeah, well, it's, it's really just basically how big is the field, right? And then... Like, how much room do each of the third graders need? And how many third graders can you find? Because there are only so many third graders. I mean, those parents got to be pumping them out, like, <laughs> however, like nine years in advance. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, my thoughts are, personally, like, I think, I mean, if it's all at once, I think I'm going to have a bit of trouble, right? Because, like, I, mm-hmm. I'm, I, like, I could definitely take out a third grader and like one punch to the lung or like one punch to like the stomach region like that take them out that take them out but the problem is that needs to like that that requires like setup like i have to wind up and i have to like go for it and i have to have a target that's like not moving the problem is when you bring in like a bunch of them i think that makes the problem a whole lot worse but i think like then it kind of just becomes like a war of attrition and i'd say (laughs) i think my limit is like 15 third graders at once 15? i think i could i think I only could come on 15 top. are you kidding I, me i think they'd overwhelm me i think they'd eventually overwhelm me. no my my limit was 15 back when i was four okay <laughs> but now i mean come on all right Bring so on, what i'm thinking know. is having the endurance to actually like take out a third grader and like they move pretty quick is like you'd have to take one down to like make sure they stay down and like that would be kind of hard to do, like, repeatedly while fending off the other ones. So it would just be very, like, you need a lot of, like, endurance. So I think more like a, I'd say, like, eight. Hmm. I actually, I kind of, I disagree with the statement about them being speedy. I think they're small targets, but, mm-hmm. like, we're, like, we're not slow by any means. Like, I, th- I think our increased muscle mass kind of contributes. I don't think speed's an issue. I think it's just more of a quantity versus quality argument. Yeah. Oh, that's a good way and to put it. I, no, but also, um, like, I mean, when I was a third grader, I don't, I didn't really know how to fight anyone. And so really, I mean, all I would do is like play Skylanders. Well, do you so, know like, how to fight? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go well. test us. So, I, well, I don't know I don't know how good of a, a match they'd be, you know. I mean, it's just, there's just a lot of them, but they don't know what they're doing, you know. Wait, wait, actually, I just thought of, like, an aspect that maybe we're not thinking of. Okay. Like, and I know I came up with this question, but there are different versions. Are, are the third graders, like, are they, like, bloodlusted? Like, are they using teeth? Like, are they, like, clawing? Or I think is, it's are they just both trying... you and the third graders are. Like, just whatever scenario is, like, it's okay, just to well, the death. Yeah, the first time, uh, like, I wasn't really considering, like, bloodlusted, but I think if I was bloodlusted, I could take on, like, easy 20. 20? Yeah. I think you're underestimating, like, like, third grade? Like, what age is that? Third grade? Oh, let's see. I want to say, like, 9 or 10. Well, they aren't, like, completely, like, useless, like, life beings. Like, they can do, like, something. But the vast majority of them haven't, like, hit puberty yet. So there's, like, no, there's, like, no muscle mass. Okay, if any third grader has hit puberty, oh my god. 
I, I don't even think I could take hey, one of them. We on. can't talk about that here. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's a sensitive subject. Sensitive yeah, right. subject. So is what would your guys' final numbers? My, mine's I think twenty. Twenty. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with. Okay, so one classroom of third graders is about thirty, right? Mm-hmm. I think I could take on two class. Oh, 60. sixty. I think both of your numbers 60. are way too I, high. I, well, I, mean, we'll I agree with you on Ian's. Ian's is kind of like highball on it. No, I don't know about no. 20, though. Oh yeah, let's test it. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, elementary school down the road. It is a good point where like there's not enough room for more than a couple to attack you at once. So if there were sixty, there'd probably be like. 50 not doing anything just like oh, waiting to get their hands on you no 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 no. think about it then they have prep time they they like the ones are attacking you but the others that aren't like they can like go find sticks or something or like a rock or no no, no they're, <laughs> i think they're, i think that makes it a whole lot worse no they're oh. analyzing your move right oh, they're they're, learning. they know everything you're gonna do so they're like <laughs> they're okay i know yeah i know he only throws right hand punches so i'm gonna stay on his left side you know uh-huh that kind of thing they're, those third graders are smarter than you think. <laughs> so then so are you evaluating mind, gonna, your number? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower my number to uh, fifty-eight. <laughs> fifty-eight. Yeah, yeah, sounds mm-hmm. about right. I'm sticking yeah. with eight. <laughs> I, you know what? I respect that. I respect that. Okay. Right, well. Um. And now that that's settled, I have another question. Course. This one, this one's a bit. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with the previous one, but you know, Guinness Book of World Records. What do you think you could do to get on that book? Like, what could you? Th- what do you think you could conceivably do to get a world Dang. record, and not just like some arbitrary world record? Like, what are like? Do you guys think you're able? You're you're capable of doing anything that could like be it like a real world record? Probably the most amount of third graders beaten up. Uh, I think that you, your number Ian was 58. eight. Yeah, I think Ian's got that unlocked. Yeah, I got that one in the book. <laughs> but have you done it yet? Not yet, but I will. I I think I have worst. Would you rather question? Would you rather be a chair or a bed? Yeah, I think, that, that was the worst. I think that was that horrible. Gives me, that gives me like the title. No, but but <laughs> someone someone from the Guinness Book of World Records wasn't here, or unless they listened to the podcast. I don't know. You not know, yet. So, it doesn't, it does, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't count. Okay, I know this is unrelated, but I have a fish tank in my room, and they're all in a line staring at the wall. Are they, they're coordinating? Yeah, they're like next to each other, just parked, just looking at the wall. Okay, well that's what the third graders are going to be like, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They're, they're, the fish are prepared. They're going to be in a line, staring staring at you instead that wall symbolizes you except there's only so many you can handle you yeah I, I gotta i gotta I, I just got one simple phrase for you jerry watch your back <laughs> the third readers are coming <laughs> the fish are scouting okay if you guys could own a, a farm animal which one would it be well i've got a farm <laughs> What qualifies as a farm animal? Like, like, what's a, my like list? a cow, a pig, a chicken, or like a goat? What about a piglet? Piglet? Well, that's a pig. Yeah, those are cute, though, you know? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I I mean, I know this is a boring answer, but like, cow, Me free too. milk. Like, Why? Oh, but they need to have a child to have milk, though. And then you just have a lot of cows. Well, yeah, then I have a lot of meat. It's, it's all the same. And and if I'm lucky enough to get a brown cow, it's, it's chocolate milk, so. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good point. I'd have a cow, but I wouldn't milk or eat any of the meat. I would just, like, have it as a pet and would just stand there and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, you have to feed it. That'd be such a tragic yeah, life. That's like, it's an orcas at sea world, except it's just a cow in your living room. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it would be in my living room, 100%. <laughs> no cage, just sitting. Just a, there. just a tormented lifetime. <laughs> <Ow>. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, like a barn though, like, even though, we're not gonna go into this, but the conditions may not be that okay, but at least they have something to do, even if it is, like, die. <laughs> but the, the cow I would own wouldn't even get that luxury. To die? <laughs> it lives forever. <laughs> That would Jerry's be just awesome pumping it cow. with steroids. <laughs> you can't die. It's How not your big time. can you make a cow? Probably massive. Oh, right. have, have you guys heard about... It'd uh, be expensive, but you could have, make a cow huge. <laughs> have you guys heard about Cuba's experiments on cows? They, they've, like, they've tried to make super cows. Like, I don't blame in the past. them. Because cows don't like work well in the Cuban climate. So then they also just like really have a lot of milk consumption there. So they tried making super cows, and I did they win? What I recall, like Fidel Castro like really wanted it. He was like so proud of the program because they actually I don't remember the cow's name, but they made they eventually they made one super cow. Like it was just like this cow that produced like incredible incredulous amounts of milk. Just like, hey, well that yeah. That's like the the human's best feat. Sounds like, like the ever. perfect wife. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Just milk production always. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Next time. <laughs> I've <laughs> I have a new a new question. Um, would you rather and a be a chair or a bed? Just, okay. I'm, mm. Upon I'm initial kidding. analysis, it, this seemed like a dumb question, but it really, it is I'm, really. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. An I'm gonna veto who you. you are as a person. I'm gonna veto you right now, Jerry. I I have a new question. Okay. Okay. Um, would you rather be able to like switch your gender at will, or or, or sex too? Both of them, or would you rather be able to switch your age at will? Wait, what? Um, would you rather well, be able to I... switch your gender or age? Oh, gender. Okay, this is getting into a territory that we do not want to go. So, I think we should change the top. I don't know. I think this is yeah. Pretty what cool. do you mean? I'm yeah. just saying, I don't. I don't have anything against people. <laughs> What do you mean? That's good. That's, that's good it. to know. That's it. That's it. I just, I don't have anything against people, but I would never want to change my gender. I mean, it'd be okay. kind of cool though. I to me. But when would you do it? Huh? All the like, time. Here, okay, Ian. <laughs> let me let me describe like the, like I think the two there's there's a major pro to each side. The okay. pro for switching your age is you're basically immortal, and that's pretty cool. You know, yeah, you can okay, stay like, I get twenty one forever. It's pretty rad. Oh, but like, I didn't care about that. But switching your gender, Ian, do you know how much just sickos will pay for like feet pics? Are you are you like are you thinking about the possibility? <laughs> I can I can send feet pics right now. Can you have a okay, child I just don't with want them. Just they would. <laughs> I don't want to think about that, Jerry. But, <laughs> but, but like. Do you can you comprehend how much money you're able to make if you're just willing to dip your toes into like the perversion of just like some weird people? Okay, okay, yeah, you could also become a prostitute. I don't get your point. I mean, that's what I want to do. The point I is get to check out my OnlyFans and right? make it that's as big as possible. <laughs> no, you're no, no. So my, I think I think it'd be switched. Okay, guys, but actually, I, I when quarantine's so over, money. we get a cow for um, just like put it somewhere where we can all visit and just like make a massive cow. <laughs> the Any means cow. possible. The community cow. <laughs> 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 all been so rough. Rough. <laughs> Wait, who's where? Where would we put it though? It like somebody's living room. Yeah, like okay, we, but who's? Uh, Jerry's Jerry's living room. Yeah, my living room. All right, yeah, I'd do it. I'd chip in. How much does a Would cow cost? Have... Well, wait, I saw it in uh, my econ class. Like they were selling cows, you know. And it was about who, who was selling cows. I don't know. It was some cow thing about 
you know, one one cows. cow, two cows. I remember cow. the oh, was it the slide that said there's a cow that said I can't wait for milking time? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, that was their team. A friend of mine showed me that. No, but do you remember like we watched a video of like a cow market? I have no anyway, idea. Yeah. That happened. That happened, and they were selling them for about two and a half k. So, okay, well here's. Okay, would you rather have a cow that could that can switch its gender or can switch its age? <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. I would say age, because then you could have a cow forever. No way. I'd milk. say no. No, I'd say gender, because then you could have a cow, and then if someone tried to to milk it like without your permission, then it would turn <laughs> into a bull and just murder them. You know. That's, that's well. Do you have control over it? I, I say no. No, they do. But you can just tell them what to do, you know? I, I was thinking I more like a remote control. <laughs> <laughs> you can just control its age, just turn a few dials. Yeah, that sounds that sounds realistic, I think. That's true. You can survive off milk alone, so you technically, you, you theoretically, you just don't need to buy food ever again. You can just drink milk. That's a lot of money you're saving. Okay, but that would also just be awful. Not if you vary it up. I mean, chocolate milk. I don't. I don't. Out. No, I don't like milk. Like, anyways, but you don't? only having milk ever. Uh, Ian, I'm going to say this right now. I don't think you're allowed to communicate a cow anymore. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're right. That's well. I didn't say I wanted a cow. I said I wanted a piglet. But okay. What would yeah, you well, do with anyway. a piglet? Um. Good boy. Because the um. The allure of owning a cow is it's just like takes up a lot of space and it's really awkward and you can't intimidating. Move it. Yeah, intimidating. But like a piglet, it's just like <laughs> kind of cute and it's just like a normal pet. But yeah. like think about yeah, having a just... cow that you cannot yeah. control with like, yeah. a, like a thousand pounds. It just it's destroys just... everything. In yeah, the house. is it better to be? It's better to be feared than loved. You know what, Jerry? You're, you're right. <laughs> I mean, p pigs are like semi-normal pets. It's not like out of the ordinary. No, but it's a piglet. Yeah, people would be like, oh, piglet. If you like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, like some friends over there like, oh, no, no. No, you wouldn't have friends. You'd have a cow. Like, I, 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 on the other. contrary, I think having a cow in your living room would give you a lot more friends. Well, it would only be the people who could handle but you wouldn't really need friends. Like, you got, like, your best friend with you. You got a cow, house. I know. You, you just have milk, and that's all you need. Yeah. If you have a cow, like, that's all you need. You're right. What, okay, What percent cow. fat milk do you guys? Do you guys drink whole, two, one, skim? Tell me. I have, like... My cow milk. <laughs> There's only been, like, a couple occasions where I've had whole milk. I, I mostly have, like... Name them. Name them. Uh, Name em. like, baking. I I'm a, I don't know why I was I was I'm really glad that no one said skim. No offense to any skim boys out there, but uh, skimmers. there's there's a special place in the underworld for the guy if you drink skim. Skimmers. Well, it's also not really up to any children what milk they drink. Mm -hmm. When, I, mean, when I have kids, the first lesson I'm teaching them is how how to ask for what kind of milk they want. Of course, the right answer is. You know, whole milk. All of it. All of it, oh. yeah. Just, just give them the gallon, but... No, just... No, not the gallon. The gallons. I'd, I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather my, uh, my kid grow up with a single mother and no father than have him drink skim. I'd rather die. And that's a hill I'm willing to fight on. <laughs> How many third grades would you fight for that cause? 50, 58, I'd fight as many as you for a skim-free right. world. I don't know if you can handle it, though. Uh, for, for, my, it for, for a world in which skim does not exist, I think I'm willing to pay the price. I don't think anybody would. I'll be, what I'll even be is skim milk, though? It's just milk without the fat. How? Yeah, how do they do that? I... Um... Yeah, yeah uh -huh. they just me. stumped you. It's, it's fat-free <laughs> cow. <laughs> fat-free cows, I suppose. Well, that's just unhealthy. Why would you remove that from it, though? 
Yeah, like, that's where all the flavor is hiding. It, I mean, it does make it milk taste better. I don't know. It's milk just without the fat is just water. <laughs> it's just water. Have you guys had egg whites? Never. Oh, they no. taste like nothing. I know. It's it's really weird. That, that's why you have to um, salt them, dear. Pepper them. Well, I I made some. And like didn't ask. It's <laughs> it's <laughs> like it's like it's it's just nothing. Like nothing's even there. Okay. Like I don't understand how like eggs like they taste pretty good, but like when you remove the the small yellow part, it's just like what do you do? Come on. The, the small yellow part. You mean the yolk? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. No, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I understand. Um, all right. Moving on. I got a question. Quarter bound. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> I stumped you. <laughs> I'm speechless. I, I. This is more of a, a more of a plug because I I want to I want to hear some interesting stories. Burn. Yeah, no, no, that's what I was thinking. But guys, I... guys, if you want us to make merch, please like, subscribe, comment down below. It um, really helps us rat, out a lot. Join the rat yeah, yeah. army. Yeah, join the nest. Join the the, the nest doors are wide open. Okay, like a so what were we gonna say? <laughs> 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 I have. I have a story I want to tell. Okay. And this better be th- good. My, I was uh, cleaning my room today, and I stumbled upon a few old books that I hadn't looked at in a very long time, and it sort of just made me really nostalgic for what I used to do as a child. And my favorite activity was playing with Legos, and I was okay. suddenly reminded of like this whole system I had. So basically. I made, like, an entire town out of Legos that, like, engulfed my whole room. And okay. w- whenever friends would come over, like, I just had, like, a, you know, as most Lego people do, they have, like, just a giant bucket of, like, random Legos yeah. that, you know, people just stir through to build stuff. And so friends would come over, and that bucket was, like, you know, that was, like, the pit where you can just make stuff to make your house, and you can just put your house mm-hmm. on, like, my bookshelf or something. And... I also owned a shop where you can buy like accessories like for your Lego person. I kind of I made literally just like an in app purchase system for my like Lego city that Dang. like <laughs> looking back now like, like basically the currency in the Lego town were just like transparent Legos, right? So like clear red Legos or like Ooh. clear green Legos mm-hmm. or even like the the gem Legos, you know, yeah. that mm-hmm. people could have. I made literally like a capitalist utopia out of Legos. Because like, friends business would man. come over. Yeah, I'm a businessman. Mm-hmm. Prodigy. Like kids yeah. would just come a over. Visionary. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> businessman. People would friends would come over. <laughs> <laughs> and they would like look through like the Lego pit looking for little crystals so they could buy like a stormtrooper helmet for their character. And like I don't know how I thought that was fun for them, but I just I just I was the overseer. I was, I was the Elon fair. Musk. I was the Life Henry Ford. You gotta tell him that. <laughs> I was teach him at a young age. My com- my comparison is like you know like the early like industrial revolution, just like steel barons who would run entire towns for their workers. That's who I was. I was thinking more like Ready Player One, but okay. <laughs> the Actually, I was thinking about that too. Thank you, dude. Do you think they'll ever make a? game like the oasis they already I sure have hope not where you have to <laughs> it's called Lego vr clothing. <laughs> you have to oh, search your bucket for like <laughs> yeah it's called my house this is still going on if you come you can just get some some crystals some lego crystals and just buy some stormtrooper equipment i had one of the lego like uh spaceship rocket sets and um my grandma got me this monkey that like when you like push a button it rolls around and makes like a noise 
but when it's low on batteries, <laughs> it does that, and it was, like, behind the rocket on my shelf, so I w- was woken up at, like, five in the morning by my rocket of pieces on the ground and a monkey screeching. <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of thing that, like, that, that's how you, like, hear child. That's what happened. Toy Jerry never did anything again. <laughs> hey, Jerry, weren't you gonna buy a, the, like, $700 Star Destroyer one? Yeah, I was somewhat thinking about it, but, like, the thing is, then you have to live with the fact that you spent... Seven hundred dollars. You There, there's a lot of things you could buy with seven hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Millennium Falcon. Like you could Legos. feed yourself for a long time. <laughs> no, you couldn't. That's like that's like a month's rent in like a not great apartment. What? I don't know where you live. A not great apartment, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, eh, so we, we all gotta start somewhere. So here's here's my next question then. Would you okay. rather pay have the money to pay for next month's rent or the Lego Star Destroyer? Which one would you rather have? 100% the Lego Star Destroyer. Neither. Well, okay, explain. What's your, <laughs> yeah, so can you elaborate? <laughs> I, I've, I've always wanted to just be like the homeless people but just be like uh, yeah. super just Rich. be super yeah <laughs> what wow <laughs> that's a great backstory i'm jerry finishes my homeless. sentences thank you <laughs> okay what's what's your favorite item on the mcdonald's menu <laughs> just, just honey mustard sauce yeah, me too. I don't know. I like the nine patty burger. That's a classic. Nine patty burger. For those of you who don't understand the nine patty burger, let me explain. There's nine patties. <laughs> what is one to burger? What? <laughs> what? What? What kind of toppings are there? None. Like actually, <laughs> it was awful. Were you able to finish it? Do you guys like pickles no, on your burger? It no. depends. I'm not a pickles guy. I like how they look, but I don't like how they taste. Like, I'll put them on, but I'll remove them <laughs> when I eat it. <laughs> I get the, aste- the aesthetic. Pickle <laughs> aesthetic. Like, their function is, like, not that good. But they look pretty cool. <laughs> pretty rad. Fried pickles, though. Those, those are like are kinda, whoa. okay. Those are kind of nice, pretty nice. Okay, let's not turn this into talking about food, because we're gonna talk about that next episode. Thanks you guys no. for watching, and nope. we'll <laughs> see you later on the Rat Nest. Yeah, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>